Hi everyone and welcome back to my training log for 2022. We're now a week removed from the NAC trail race and uh, although my body's still a little bit fatigued and generally feeling okay. Uh, the NAC trail run was a trail race of course here in Niseko and I completed the 12 kilometer distance. There was also a 30k distance but at the moment for me that that seems like uh, much too far of a stretch. So the 12K seemed, you know, right up, right up my alley, um, kind of based on my fitness at the moment. This is my first real race since uh, late 2019, when I had a couple of road runs, and also did the NAC trail run back in 2019. In 2020, I did a couple of kind of personal challenges, uh, kind of hiking some mountains around here in the Seco, but. It doesn't really compare to kind of the race environment when everyone's kind of buzzing with excitement, you're a little bit nervous and you know that kind of adds an extra element to the run that you otherwise don't get um, you know kind of when you're out by yourself. The NAC trail course is fairly brutal. There really isn't much runnable terrain. It's either steep uphill or steep downhill. And there's also quite a few sections of really technical terrain, like um, kind of off camber, running over tree roots and things. And there's also some sections where you're actually like pulling yourself up some ropes, up some really steep, muddy inclines. So it's fairly uh, unforgiving, but also kind of fun. It looked like it was going to be a perfect day for trail running. The forecast had sunny skies and around 20, 21 degrees. Um, so I was kind of excited um, to, you know, really give the course uh, a good go. It looked like it wasn't going to be too hot, but I'll have some more on that uh, after the race. It was really exciting to have a race on the schedule. You know, although I've got my sights set on longer races in the future, I think having these kind of intermediate steps um, is a nice way to train and it gives you something to look forward to and something to focus on when maybe looking two or three years ahead might be a little bit difficult. You can build your fitness base uh, for you know a particular race and then have a short period of really focusing your skills for that particular race, whether it's technical trail run or like a fast 10k or something like that. And then, you know, once that's over, you reset and then go to your second phase and build another fitness base and then slowly, you know, step your fitness up from there. And that kind of builds your racing experience, uh, it builds your fitness base and it also builds the, you know, technical skills you might need for um, the kind of events that you like to do. So on the Saturday, we went over to the uh, NAC Adventure Centre. Uh, went to pick up our t-shirts, our race numbers, and get a little bit of information from the, the running organ or the race organizers. They had our numbers kind of plastered up on the wall, which was cool. You could kind of see uh, all the competitors and we saw a couple of friends on there as well, which was cool. And, um, you know, snapped a couple of photos for Instagram, which uh, you've got to do, and then made sure we got home and uh, started preparing well for the race. I made sure I had a nice clean dinner uh, as I had been doing all week to avoid any you know classic race morning stomach issues and then I made sure I got to bed early as well which I'd been doing all week. I really wanted to make sure I had or well, make sure I was well rested, I had a good, enough sleep you know in the days leading up and um, yeah I think I, I think I did really well in that respect. I got up at 6 a.m. on race morning, so our run was scheduled for 10, so that gave me four hours to kind of wake up, um, have breakfast with enough time to digest, do some mobility work, and do some kind of dynamic stretches, and uh, kind of get my body prepared for it. Then, uh, yeah we headed out for the race and I'll, I'll leave you with some footage from race day.
ね、1位より、え、大会のですね、主事校と説明ありますので、え、それに従って発表して元気元気元気。元気。はい。え、あめね、参加してるの。で、優勝する誰か。十分たくさんのあの、トレーラーにやってる人もいると思う。2、1、
So that was the NAC trail run and I don't know if you can tell from the footage it was sunny as expected but it certainly wasn't the 21 degrees that I was expecting. It was closer to 30 degrees Celsius and that heat certainly had a big effect on the final outcome of the race but despite that I was really happy with my performance and how the day went uh, kind of overall. Looking back, there's certainly some lessons uh, that I learned, uh, but also lots to be proud of, and I'm really happy with my preparation and the discipline I showed in, in getting ready for the race, uh, but also lots to work on in the future, which is uh, always a good thing. To give you a quick recap of the actual events of the race, Right out of the starting gate is a huge uphill, which is about 500 meters of elevation over about a kilometer. So it's particularly steep. And I knew at this part of the race, I was just going to walk it or hike it and not let the kind of race emotions get to me and, and start to run. So I held myself back while a lot of the other races kind of jogged up ahead, uh, knowing that I would need to conserve my energy for the second half of the race and also it was so hot that I didn't really have the conditioning or um, the fitness to, to run up a hill in, in that kind of uh, temperature. So took it easy. I made sure to hydrate throughout the entire uphill. I was sipping on my, uh, my hydration drink uh, you know, every now and then, try not to take in too much at once, and just slowly metering it out uh, as I got up, uh, got up the hill. I eventually uh, got into a decent rhythm and caught up with some people as I went and crested the hill at the top. Um, you know, feeling pretty good. We then proceeded to head across the top uh, section, uh, which was fairly flat, a little bit downhill and then that entered a very steep and long descent through some fairly kind of choppy terrain. I probably went a bit too fast in this section. You know, I overtook a bunch of people and I was feeling kind of quite good. And so I just kind of sent it. And that kind of eventually caught up to me, both in my stomach, jostling around with the liquid I drank on the uphill, and then also maybe just wearing out my legs too, too early. So. By the time I exited the steeper section onto kind of a more flat downhill where I expected to maybe pick up some more time, I just really couldn't run. My stomach was in pain and uh, my legs were kind of shot. So I kept moving. Uh, I didn't really let it uh, affect me, but at that time I, my self-talk was kind of like, ah, oh, man, you were a bit too confident going into this race. You know, you, you thought you were going to smash it, but um, maybe you underestimated it a little bit. So I kept on moving, eventually ended the descent and you kind of wrap around and head straight back uphill. There's some footage that I was kind of walking past uh, some friends of mine around a corner and up, up the hill. And it was all I could do to walk. I couldn't put on a show for the camera and jog past. Um, and I was just, I was moving as fast as I could at that point. After you cross the second small hill, you kind of enter the forested area and it was really nice to get a respite from the sun. It was mostly in shade, but it was really tough and technical. You're pulling yourself up some ropes, uh, up some really steep hills and you couldn't really get a jog on or anything as you were stepping over branches, trying not to slide down some short embankments, going over little rivers. It was... Uh, it's probably not a bad thing as I probably couldn't have run much faster if it was open and flat terrain. I caught up to my friend Tomaj, which gave me a real boost to see him and uh, he had had some issues previously. So I think seeing me also kind of dragged him along, which was good. We kept kind of cruising through the forested area until we could see the uh, clearing uh, in the distance, which meant we were going to come out of the forest towards the finish, which was great. The ending is uphill, 
which is horrible. Uh, but my friends were there and they were cheering, cheering me on and, and cheering my other friends on as well. So you kind of had to put in a run to finish it off. And it felt great just to, you know, put in a kick and, and cross the line, uh, leaving it all out there. And, and I think I really did. After I crossed the line, um, I had to just go and find some shade and just chill out. And I, uh, yeah, made sure I was drinking a lot of um, kind of electrolyte water, trying to get uh, things back that I lost in sweating. And um, yeah, just took it easy for a couple of minutes. After that, I went on to cheer some of my friends who were also coming along uh, up to the finish. And then, uh, yeah, we sat around and, you know, chatted about the race and, and how everything went. I think overall, everyone was really happy with how the day went. And uh, it's always good to, you know, put in a huge effort and, and uh, finish off something like that. Having the heat and how difficult it was probably makes it feel that much sweeter at the end when you finish. And yeah, it was a great day. I'm really happy with it and, and that's kind of why you train and why you do these things to to go out and smash it and, and you know perform at a level like that it was really really awesome so looking ahead i'm going to have a talk with my coach about future goals future races we can prepare for in 2023 in the next couple of months it's going to start getting cooler and then winter will come and obviously the snow so there's not a lot of racing to do there but certainly a lot of preparation we can do in running and strength training and getting the body prepared for the next year which I'm really looking forward to. Other than that I'm just really thankful for everyone's support and everyone watching on YouTube and following along on Instagram. It's really great to get the comments and um, feedback from people who are watching and following along it's uh, It really motivates me to put out more videos and, and content and share with you what I'm doing and I'm, I'm very grateful for everyone who continues to watch. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. There's going to be lots coming up in the next couple of years. I know that's a, it's a long time frame, but I've got some really big goals that I want to meet and um, yeah, it's going to be great to have everyone along for the ride as well. So. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next week when we get back into some more training.